Welcome to the Concept Solutions CS2 Task Management System 100 video training course. This course will show you how to use the task management module and workflow within the task management system in CSI. This module will henceforth be referred to as TMS in this video. If you're an employee or subcontractor with Concept Solutions, you will use the TMS module to create various types of tasks within your assigned group and manage these tasks. If you are a project manager, you will approve the creation of a TMS group for your project, maintain the list of tasks, and change the status of task to complete or closed after successful verification. You must have a valid TMS account. To obtain a TMS account, get your project manager's approval and then send an email to tmssupport at conceptsolutions.com. You will receive an email notification from the TMS team that your account has been approved. Log in to CSI to access the TMS module. After taking this course, you will be able to understand basic navigation within the TMS module you will also learn about the three types of tasks, when to use each type, how to record task information, and how to successfully manage the task life cycle to closure. In this course, we will log into CSI, learn how to access the TMS module, explain the task life cycle, and provide an overview of task management. The TMS module allows you to create tasks within your group and manage the entire life cycle of the task. Note that all TMS tasks have a workflow that is initiated, directed by, and closed based on a key field called status. As we go through each task type, you will see how the status field drives the movement of the task through the various phases until end of life. Before you begin task management, ensure that your group has been set up in the TMS module and you have selected it. To select your group, click on the Change Group link in the upper navigation pane within the TMS module. The group selection screen is displayed. From the group drop down box, select your group. For the purpose of this video, we will use the ESG group as our example. TMS has three types of tasks, ticket, change request, and internal request. The ticket task type may be used to record help desk type requests or any customer service oriented requests that need to have response times logged, tracked, and closed. To access the ticket task type, click on the tickets in the upper left navigation pane. The tickets page is displayed. To create a new ticket, click on the Create New button located just below the page header. When you click on the Create New, the Ticket Form tabbed page is displayed with your group name in the page header. This page is divided into two tabs, Ticket and Resolution. The page is displayed by default in data entry mode so you can create a new ticket. Enter the ticket data making sure you fill in all the required fields. Required fields are marked with an asterisk sign. For example, the title field is a required field. Ensure you select the correct value in the status field to begin the ticket's workflow. If you do not fill out a required field and attempt to save your record, TMS displays a red warning message. Drop-down menus can be customized by group. For each drop-down menu you see, on this page, your project manager should have identified all the values and provided these values to the TMS team.
The TMS team has then populated these fields at the initial setup of your group. After you have finished entering all your ticket data, click Save to save the record. When you click Save, a new Journal tab is displayed. The Journal tab allows you to enter helpful follow-up notes about your ticket and attach supporting files or documentation to substantiate the ticket notes. To create a new journal entry, click on the New Entry located in the bottom left of the Journal tab page. The Journal Editor is displayed. Enter your data and click Save. Your note is displayed as a record in a list of notes in the Journal tab page. Let's take a look at the Resolutions tab. Clicking on the tab displays the Resolution tabbed page with three basic fields that allow you to specify days to completion, description, and root cause. Enter your data and click Save. To view a list of tickets in your group, click on the Tickets link in the upper navigation pane within the TMS module. The Tickets main page is displayed with a hyperlinked grid of all open tickets. Clicking on the hyperlinked task ID of any ticket will take you back to the ticket form data entry screen. The change request task type may be used to record submitted change requests within your group. To access the change request task type, click on the change requests in the upper left navigation pane. The change request page is displayed with your group name in the header. To create a change request, click on the create new button located just below the page header. Enter the change request data, making sure you fill out all the required fields. Required fields are marked with an asterisk sign. For example, the title field is a required field. Ensure you select the correct value in the status field to begin the change request workflow. If you do not fill out a required field and attempt to save your record, TMS displays a red warning message. Similar to the ticket feature, drop-down menus can be customized by group. For each drop-down menu you see on this page, your project manager should have identified all the values and provided these values to the TMS team. The TMS team has then populated these fields at the initial setup of your group. After you have finished entering all your change request data, click Save to save the record. The internal request task type may be used to record all internal requests including action items within your group. To access the internal request task type, click on the internal requests in the upper left navigation pane. The internal request page is displayed with your group name in the header. To create an internal request, Click the Create New button located just below the page header. Enter the internal request data, making sure you fill in all the required fields. Required fields are marked with an asterisk sign. For example, the title field is a required field. Ensure you select the correct value in the status field to begin the internal request workflow. If you do not fill out a required field and attempt to save your record, TMS displays a red warning message. Similar to the ticket and the change request feature, drop-down menus can be customized by group. For each drop-down menu you see on this page, your project manager should have identified all the values and provided these values to the TMS team. The TMS team has then populated these fields at the initial setup of your group. After you have finished entering all your internal request data, click Save to save the record. Thank you for attending the Task Management System Task Module video training course on CS2. 
be sure to watch the video titled Task Management System Task Reporting to learn how to query your tasks. Please provide feedback by taking the anonymous course evaluation survey provided at the end through a link. Please contact the HR assistant with any questions. For more detailed information, you may refer to the employee handbook. We look forward to having you on another CS2 video training.